Just one change from that game, which sees Amari Forson replace Charlie McNeil, which pushes Shola Shore Thierry up to be the striker for this one. After a tightly contested first minutes with United well in control of possession, it was Chelsea with the first real chance as the ball fell kindly to Cassady on the edge of the box. On 25 minutes, United deservedly opened the scoring. Kobe Maynou showing quick feet in the area before being brought down, but any calls for a penalty were answered when Hansen Aaron smashed the ball past Eddie Beach to give United the lead. Just a couple of minutes later, United almost doubled their lead. Charlie Savage finding space on the edge of the box, but just missed out on finding the top corner. The attempts kept coming for United as we passed the half an hour mark. This time, Amari Forson trying his luck with a first-time finish. As the heavens opened here at King's Meadow, Kobe Mainu will be wondering how he hadn't made it 2-0. A brilliant glancing header from the corner, saved by the keeper and cleared by the defence before the ball could cross the line. As we edge towards half-time, Kasady, who had the first chance of the half, also had the last chance of the half and once again saw his shot fly over Vitek's goal. Just a minute into the second half and just a minute after coming onto the pitch, Charlie McNeil had the ball in the back of the net but denied by the offside flag. And two minutes later, it was McNeil again, found by Amari Forson running at the defence but his deflected shot was directed across the face of goal. And then, completely against the run of play, Chelsea drew level. A dangerous cross was met at the back post by Lewis Hall, who did well to convert from the angle. Five minutes later, Chelsea then took the lead. The ball into the box was met by the head of Kasady, who leaped incredibly well to direct his header into the bottom corner and give his side the lead just before the hour mark. As we approach 70 minutes, Amari Hutchinson almost doubled Chelsea's lead. The number seven had looked dangerous since Chelsea switched formation after the break, but couldn't make most of his chance. Hutchinson once again used his pace to break in behind the United defence. Radek Vitek producing a fine save to deny him, and will be thanking Ben Elliott, who somehow missed the ball to convert from five yards out. Chelsea continued to create chances and with 10 minutes to go, they got that all-important third goal. Soon Suk Bell, with his first touch since coming on as a substitute, converted from close range. Then deep into injury time, United got a goal back. A ball in from McNeil was met by Shola Shore Thierry to spark a little bit of hope for United. And that hope was ignited as 30 seconds later, United and Shora Shore Thierry again had the ball in the back of the net. Some fantastic play right at the very end was enough to earn a point for United. Full-time Chelsea 3, Manchester United 3.